Growing up, Chris Rock was one of my favorite comedians. I could always relate to his comedy when he talked about his family. My mother likes to clean up my room. And whenever my mother cleans up my room, she always takes out all my dirty magazines. And whenever your mother takes your dirty magazines, you can't say anything about it. If she don't say nothing, you don't say nothing. I could relate when he talked about relationships. It's all about her, fellas. Say yes to everything. I could relate when he talked about politics. Hey, I got some shit I'm concerned about. It's, it's I got some man. shit I'm liberal about. Crime, I'm conservative. Prostitution, I'm liberal. I felt as though he had the entire package. A signature voice. Oh, you think y'all that with your fat ass? <laughs> huh? Great stage presence. To me, it was Red Fox, Eddie Murphy, then Chris Rock. But all that changed a week ago after viewing his recent Netflix stand-up. Now a year ago, we've all seen when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Apparently, Chris Rock made a joke about Jada Thotty, I mean Jada Pinkett Smith, and Will wasn't having it. Did Will Smith slap Chris Rock over a harmless joke? Or was it something much more deeper than we can imagine? This is what I heard. Chris, you should try to get that from Jay. That's what I heard. That's why he was sensitive. Mm -hmm. All this fucker, but you can't. <laughs> you hosting the Oscars. <laughs> you pose a threat. The little broke, you can eat it from the back of the head thing. Who really knows? But let's get back to Chris Rock's recent stand up. The show was pretty funny, and the Will Smith rant was phenomenal until Chris Rock said this. And you know what my parents taught me? Don't fight in front of white people. Excuse me, say what? Don't fight in front of white people. You smoke crack, don't you? I don't know about y'all, but where I'm at in my life, I see that as plantation babbling. Plantation babble is when you commit a act or say things to appease another group of people while at the same time, the group you are trying to appease don't care about appeasing you. We built this country and haven't gotten our reparations. That don't mean we can't be cordial, but the last thing we should be doing is going out of our way to make the opposition feel good. Remember, they fed our babies to alligators. Do you really think white parents are telling their kids to tap dance for black people? Don't fight in front of white people. Symbolically, that means be a good slave. Selective outrage is plaguing the black community. We kill each other. We don't support one another because a lot of our old school parents told us to Don't fight in front of white people. But they should have been saying treat all people with the same respect, especially when they look like you. Chris Rock, you need to fix that. Go on and do it expeditiously. 